This is VOA News. I'm Scott Walterman. Thousands of Palestinians sheltering from the Israel-Hamas war at Gaza City's main hospital fled south Friday. They joined a growing exodus of people escaping intense urban fighting in the north, including near other hospitals. Thousands of Palestinians are streaming onto Gaza's only highway, fleeing the combat zone in the north. After Israel announced a window for safe passage and following Israeli strikes near hospitals amid an intensifying campaign of airstrikes and ground battles, the search for safety in Gaza has grown increasingly desperate. Tens of thousands have walked south where they face the prospect of ongoing bombardment and dire conditions. Others have crowded into and around hospitals, sleeping in operating rooms and wards. I'm Charles de la Desma. The Israel army says Hamas military infrastructure is based in and around those hospitals. Hamas is a U.S.-designated terrorist group. The United Nations says the atrocities in Sudan are almost unspeakable. We continue to receive unrelenting and appalling reports of sexual and gender-based violence, enforced disappearance, arbitrary detentions, and grave violations of human and children's rights. What is happening is verging on pure evil. That is U.S. Humanitarian Coordinator for Sudan, Clementine Nkwida Salami, says an example. They've got reports of young girls being raped in front of their mothers. As the fighting in Sudan continues, the United Nations now says half the population, 25 million people, require assistance and protection. This is VOA News. The exposed cracked floors on parts of Lake Titicaca, which is South America's largest freshwater basin nestled amid the Andes Mountains, an alarming sight for local farmers and scientists. Reuters correspondent Alice Rizzo says record low water levels and drought are threatening the region's ecosystem. I am 50 years old. Never before has Lake Titicaca dried up like it is now. Nestled amid the Andes Mountains, Lake Titicaca is South America's largest body of freshwater. It's an important ecosystem for wildlife and a water source for millions of people in the region. But its water levels are now reaching record lows. This affects us because there is no more food for our livestock and we cannot travel by boat. Now we have to walk and our crops no longer exist because it hasn't rained since last year. So the water has decreased. The situation is worsened by El Nino weather phenomenon. That is Reuters correspondent Alice Rizzo who says... Lake Titicaca's decline comes with global temperatures hitting record highs, which has impacted rivers, lakes, and glaciers from the United States to Asia. New House Speaker Mike Johnson facing his first big test as he tries to win the U.S. House Republican support for a short-term funding plan to avert a government shutdown. The task looks increasingly difficult, Federal agencies are making plans for a shutdown that would shutter the government, halt paychecks for millions of federal workers, and for military troops. It's a disruption that Johnson has said he wants to avoid, but House lawmakers left Washington without a plan after a week of setbacks. Republicans who were granted autonomy to discuss internal deliberations say Johnson is still sounding out support. And you can get news 24 hours a day from our website, voanews.com. In Washington, I'm Scott Walterman, VOA News.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.